pixel art here with another tutorial on how to make um, a logo with this circle right here and I'm gonna just put the uh, download uh, description uh, in the description right there the link to it on my DeviantArt page I made this with uh, Cinema 4D so you can just check it out and if you want to use it you can just use it it's, I'm not putting any price on it or something on it you can just use it alright so let's just get right into it let's get started so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm just gonna create a circle uh, yeah one, one thing you want to do first is you know pull like some stuff some guideline stuff out of here yeah and uh, from here on that side to make you get there in a perfect circle and uh, to help you get the perfect circle it doesn't really work with this uh, but I used to work with it on Photoshop but anyway let's get into this what I want to do right now is um, create a circle like with this one I want to create a circle uh, and uh, hold on the control key you can create a perfect circle construction into a perfect circle a little bit bigger than it doesn't really matter uh, and take the direct selection to push it up center it. I don't know kind of center it doesn't really center that good all right then what I want to do right now is uh, fill it with a with a white kind of made a mistake with the first tutorial I was, I was doing I don't know what I did so how do we make it but yeah take the photo doesn't have any texture yeah okay the uh, just fill it up all right so filled up really good I'm not gonna do anything right now to it I'm not gonna add any texture to it I'm just gonna leave it all right so after I do that what I want to do next is go to the logo I want to use you could just put a text or something there control C to copy it I'm using my logo because it's makes a lot yeah control V and uh, uh let me just you know take this just bring it down just you know, resize it and just center it I like to center stuff all right so after I center it it looks pretty good so what I want to do now is uh, just duplicate this file really fast duplicate it uh, and push it on top of it and you realize that oh it's gone it's not gone it's right on the the logo is right under so what I want to do right now is uh yeah and maybe duplicate this file again yeah duplicate this file good so you're done these are the old layers you need so right now what I want to do right now is just go and change my color I'll just add a part into it so I'm just gonna click this go here choose a gradient any gradient you want choose a texture just add it to it just paint on this one the one below the one after this that's what you do click on it and it gives you that um, design you can't see it because these two are covering it if I just put this off and this off you realize it gives you the design right under it so please don't get creepy or don't get creeped out and stuff when you're doing it alright so after I'm done with that I'm still gonna put this on so this one I'm gonna reduce the opacity to like a 20 or something like that so that's what I'm gonna do I'm sorry uh, my anytime I reduce opacity of stuff yeah 22 is, is good so you still realize that you don't see anything don't worry about it um, go here and select the uh, t uh, the direct section to push it up a little bit yeah push it up like to this size alright so after you got something like this what you want to do is uh, change the blend mode to screen and opacity down to like uh, yeah make it a little bit lower a little bit lower eh, 8 yeah make it down to a 8 eh, yeah you're kind of done yeah and what you want to do right now is uh make a layer max of it yeah and after you do that you realize it actually takes you know the black out of it what you want to do right now is uh on this max copy to layer of raster 2 go and just choose a black color and take the brush to that is B the brush to paint it where you don't want and if you want to paint where you want 
just click a white the white color just give it kind of right here alright and uh after you do with that you just increase this push this down and increase the opacity a little bit okay make it a little bit smaller alright so yeah like this and it gives you this pretty good design and yeah so that is this for this tutorial you can you know add your text here or something like that to give you a pretty good design and one thing you can do is um you can add like um optical flares to it um i don't feel like i don't optical flares to it today so control c but let me just teach you what i do i do with it and maybe control v to paste all right, and you realize that it always it covers everything. Change to screen, and yeah, you can add it anywhere. You can just let me just go back a little bit. Oh yeah, please um make sure it's always on screen, and uh when it's on screen, all you want to do right now is um uh take my brush to hard light. Hot light gives it this kind of creepy, I don't know, kind of design. I don't want that. Uh, overlay gives it like this kind of design. You could just make it any way your preferences. I like to use screen because I already have my design and I want to use that. So, yeah. So, what I do right now is um, take the direction action to push it by a little bit. Uh, then just change this. Make it a little bit better. Let me see. Let's see, push it back. Uh, yeah, make it a little bit straight. Push it forward. If it's not that straight, you could just yeah. So something like that, you know. And uh, after, let me just duplicate this really fast. Just duplicate it and take that one out and just push it right here. Yeah. So mm -hmm. just push this one. All right. So after you're done with that. All right. So you see, it already gives you that. So what you just do is go here merge down merge it down and after you do that or put the plan mode on screen go and create a layer max of it and actually all what I say is just give it a black the black stuff and take the brush too that is a B I like to use shortcuts a lot take a black no with a black I think choose a black all the time and just paint where you don't want the stuff to be alright I don't want the design to be just take it off take it all off you know and uh, I'll wait control Z to just undo what I did because it gives it a little bit of color so I really appreciate it. All right, so then, in case like you wanted to, you know, change the color of this, uh, this one right here, you could just go to adjustments, uh, color, not color. You can just go to brightness and and I like to use curves a lot. Uh, you like to maybe use um hue and saturation. Where I can't even find what that is. Yeah, hue and saturation right here, and you just choose colorize and. Uh, my computer is a little bit slow. Sorry about that. Just choose colorize. It's just gonna give you a box. Is that okay? You have to rasterize that and yeah, just see. Uh, gives you. I don't really know how this works, but uh, yeah, with a green. Yeah, just change the color a little bit. Yeah, like golden. Just make this a little bit lighter. All right, so yeah. And uh, it changes the color for you pretty nice. Uh, you can just put your text, uh, your name, and everything right there. And uh, this is Pixel Arts, and I'm signing out. And guys, please subscribe, rate, comment. And uh, if there's anything I did uh, that you thought it like was wrong or you didn't like it, just you know, tell me in the comments, and uh, I'll work on it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video.